Okay, people, before we get started, definitely would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when we drop new episodes. We drop new episodes of Fanebra News every Saturday, 12 p.m. EST, and we re-upload some of those segments throughout the week for your viewing pleasure. So yeah, hit those buttons, subscribe, bell, all of that good stuff. Let's jump into the news. More Dragon Ball Super Superhero news, but this time around, it's regarding the West and just how astronomical this movie is doing over here that I legitimately doubted it. I straight up said it's not going to happen. It was already failing in Japan. Boom. But once again, I've said it before and I'll say it that I was proven wrong. This movie is doing insane numbers over here in the West because according to this article, courtesy of Anime News Network, it is already a top five film in the U.S. for anime releases. It says here, Dragon Ball Super Superhero Film beats Broly to reach top five all-time anime films in the U.S. The Dragon Ball Super Superhero anime film is earning an estimated $30,761,982 after its second weekend in North America. That brings the film above Dragon Ball Super Broly that did $30,712,000 and puts it in the top five highest grossing anime films ever at the U.S. box office unadjusted for inflation. So uh, if you put inflation, things might look a little different. I'm just saying. The anime films that have earned more in their final U.S. box office totals are Pokemon the first movie, Demon Slayer the Mugen Train, and Pokemon 2000 the movie. So we're right there. The box office mojo website reported that Jujutsu Kaisen earned the U.S. 29,693 last year, while the numbers website reported U.S. 33 million. So we're basically top five, and I didn't even realize Jujutsu Kaisen was that big. Like it was a top five that. That's nuts. Dragon Ball Super Superhero is bringing in an estimated 4,565,000 this weekend, which ranks it number five for the time frame below Top Gun Maverick and above DC League of Super Pets. Its daily box office tallies are as follows, and we have just what they did each day. And that's crazy that Dragon Ball Super, I'd imagine it's probably going to beat a few of those. It'll probably be number three. I don't see it beating Mugen Train or Pokemon the first movie. It definitely won't beat Pokemon the first movie it could beat the Mugen train I'm gonna probably leave that as a question mark but yeah I don't see it being in the first movie of Pokemon that movie I ain't gonna lie I've told this story before but I'll say it again we went to go watch that movie the day it came out we went on the line over there Brooklyn Ridgewood Theater at like four in the afternoon we didn't get to the front to watch the film until like 10 at night that's how huge and insane the pokemon fandom was back then and yeah it made bukus of dollars so dragon ball super superhero either way already a top five film already defeated the broly movie which i still can't even believe that i'm probably gonna call a little bit of cap on certain instances considering the fact that i know for a fact Dragon Ball Superhero is in way more theaters than the Broly film. If I'm not mistaken, this thing is in like 3,000 something movie theaters. And I want to say Broly was like in 1,900. Don't quote me on the numbers, but I do know that it's in way more theaters than the Broly film. So that definitely helps. And also, it's a family friendly film, the way it's been pushed, and there's Gohan and stuff like that. So that probably could, you know, represent why it's doing great. I'm still shocked that it's doing great just because, again, 3D C boggles my mind that the west is loving it the west is going crazy for it japan ain't but the west is speaking their piece that they're fine with 3d cg dragon ball and don't get me wrong because if you watch my review that i made over on my main channel i did say that no i actually was surprised and i thought it was a good film and for the most part the 3d cg wasn't too bad it actually worked especially after a little bit of watching the film you kind of even forget that it's 3d cg but i'm still always going to prefer 2d and i'm just rather shocked already a top five anime film in the u.s sales wise like bonkers nuts and yeah we could probably probably be getting more 3d cg over here or more 3d cg projects here in the west because of it but yeah people dragon ball super superhero 30 million beat out broly in two weeks and it's probably going to go on to be either third or second place in the top anime films of all times in the west Wow. Just a small update for Jujutsu Kaisen fans. They just released a promo image for Jujutsu Kaisen the next season. And on it, it just says 2023 with an image of Megumi Fushiguro. And I'm not going to lie, when I first saw it, I was like, it's a dope image, but 
the art wise and all of like the layers of coloring and whatnot it kind of looks a little bit different than the first season and, and granted it's just a promo image it's not anything that you could say like hey this is what the anime is going to look like but they did mention if you missed the episode of Forever News where we talked about it that they're trying new things they're not doing the same old same old with this upcoming season of Jujutsu Kaisen and if this image is any indication there's going to be a lot of filters and layers to this thing so I mean I'm, I'm watching it regardless like I love Jujutsu Kaisen but this promotional image is very telling that they're trying new things and it might not look exactly the way you remember Jujutsu Kaisen to be granted it's not 3D CGI so relax people we we're dodging a bullet with that but yeah I guess we gotta wait and see either way dope image cool that they're pushing Megami Fushiguro although I forget how relevant he is in the upcoming stuff of Jujutsu Kaisen granted there's a couple of pieces but yeah this is gonna be interesting either way Megami Fushiguro poster 2023 I'm hoping that we get a simultaneous release. I, I forgot. I want to say this real quick. I'm hoping that they release in the same season Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer's next season. That would be like every week fans will be eating so crazy. Two of the biggest Shonen Jump anime out right now. Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer. The fans will go nuts. It, it would be a great thing. And I don't think they release on the same days either. I want to say Demon Slayer comes out on like Sundays and Jujutsu Kaisen came out like Saturdays. So, or no, no, no. Friday night so it will be basically the biggest weekends ever that would be great big opportunity for aspiring manga authors artists alike because yeah it seems as though manga plus is trying to enter into the realm of dealing with indie creators similar to like what webtoons does this is a big move because according to this it says manga plus shueisha and medibang have launched manga plus creators for international artists to publish their own works worldwide the platform includes a monthly award contest for popular works to be published at manga plus and shonen jump plus's app i ain't gonna lie that's huge that's a major opportunity webtoons even though sometimes they have competitions or whatever they ain't really like on the level of manga plus because again to be able to be on shonen jump plus's app with one of your works that will be a great opportunity so i'll try to post a link to this in the description so you guys could go check it out for yourselves but yeah it seems as though other avenues are opening up for indie creators to be able to partake in and manga plus is giving opportunity i mean granted there's an equal exchange right because they're getting free content on their platform for doing nothing other than existing but hey if they're offering opportunities to rock with the big guns then go take it and last but not least let's close this episode off with the top 50 best-selling manga of the week courtesy of jose underscore ke okay so for starters 50 through 41 oh wow they got solo leveling and solo leveling volume 10 and what is it three days two days oh wow i think two days uh 15,500 not bad considering that's a korean comic pretty awesome my hero academia volume 35 this week doing 15,800 total 626,000 solo leveling volume 9 holy shit okay solo leveling is clearly getting a big boost uh volume 9 it did in again two days 15,900 so about 16,000 more or less but solo leveling volumes at least from here uh, we got some spy family then 40 through 31 a whole bunch more of spy family 40 38 36 through 34 uh then at number 31 one piece 101 with 18,000 this week bringing his total to 1.9 million then places 30 through 21 again more spy family tokyo revengers at uh number 28 for volume 28 um almost almost 900,000 it might break it before dipping eden zero new volume five days 19.6 that's not the greatest in the world especially i remember the days of hiromashima's previous series fairy tale doing like 300,000 first week so not great but not too bad either uh dragon ball super in 18 days 20,500 for 185,000 pretty good then we got places 20 through 11 we got a couple of one piece episode a volume one and two with pretty much 22 and 23,000 a piece uh one piece volume 102 26,000 uh for 1.8 tokyo revengers so young oh is that the another spinoff i want is that the gag i don't know what spinoff god there's so many spinoffs now at this point in five days twenty seven thousand. that looks like mikey is that like a mikey spinoff and then we got top 10 for this week uh at number six four nights of the apocalypse volume eight forty seven thousand. i still gotta say from the nasty thing i heard recently that was done in that series ugh, but apparently it worked because those are great sales hey 
At number three, One Piece is latest volume, 103, with 108,000 this week, bringing its total to 1.7 mil, doing way better than any of the last, like, three or four volumes of One Piece. Uh, then at number two, Jujutsu Kaisen, still staying steady at number two. It's been steady at number two for a bit now. 149,000 this week, bringing its total to 1.2 million. And at number one, the latest Tokyo Revengers volume, very eerily, with 444,000 copies in five days dope cover and yeah pretty awesome top 50 best selling i know i went through it pretty quick this week but this was a little bit of a lengthy episode lads i have a dream alone in my room as i sit with the tea couldn't possibly think what i often see and you don't even know how i often blink lights be flashing and looking at me such an odd unique yet i'm so unique and you're looking at me if the walls could talk they would probably be bleak and i'd probably say bitch get the fuck off me